Hello and welcome back to The White Walkers with me, Rebecca Walker, joined as always by Richard Walker. Hello. Hello, and today we have um, Lanny Sun versus Stark Kraken. Guess what? It's me against Rebecca again. Yeah, it's really weird that. It's almost like in the, in real life tournaments aren't happening at the moment. That might change. It might change. We've had word of Starlek. Starlek. Exciting times. Exciting times. Very excited. Pretty exciting. Mm. You're going to have to actually play more cards. I know, I'm going to have to sort of start looking at these new cards a bit more. I, I started looking at them a little bit. Yeah, we even had a game. We did, easing ourselves back in. Oh, wait. Yeah, that didn't go so well for me. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we have Dark Kraken against Lanny Sun. I think this is going to be our last core set deck game. Yeah. And then we will investigate some new cards. Yeah, so if you want to see me basically reading every card that comes out, because I'm like, what the hell is this? Um, yeah, join us for the next video. No, we won't put them all <laughs> in the same deck. We'll just use a couple sparingly. Okay, that's good. Have you made me a clanny deck? No, because clansmen are still bad. Mm. Hey, I set up Iwin Tywin and you've just valored me, you absolute dickhead. <laughs> yeah. And I read you a dupe. I forgot how banterous this opening was. Yes. Opening Valar. I mean, that's not something I do regularly. That's that's normally like, I don't know, back in the day, if you open Valar, generally you'd lose the game. Yeah. That was that was like the statistic, wasn't it? Like, opening Valar is normally you're going to lose. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's normally... Because you don't have a reset, really, mm. for the rest of the game, or your opponent knows at least you've uh, wasted your Valar. Yeah. Um, especially when I have a duped Asher and a Risen from the Sea. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty happy now, aren't you? Yeah, so as long as I can afford to get another chud out, um, I should be okay, despite whatever military you might get out. Yeah. Because you have Claim, I do not. Yeah. But I have Asha, who's going to be amazing on a small board. Yeah, true. Because I've, I mean, I've got a Rose Road, so I've got seven gold. Hmm. Um, but yeah, you're definitely going to make my life difficult. Oh, King's Road, which is, again, important in that decision to Valor. Going to yeah. give me... A bit of uh, presence on the board. Is that something maybe you really drew into? Yeah. Oh, no. I had the King's Road in hand. Oh, right. Okay, but you set up the Rose Road and then... I see. Yeah, playing at Arya. Again, with a dupe, which is very nice. Like you say, I do have Claim and you don't. So it means that you've got <coughs> that extra option for Claim if you want to take her dupe rather than Ashes. Yeah, very nice. I think it's a really nice start. Mmm. Nice for you, maybe. I can't believe you kill my time when and then I read... I drew up a dupe of him. That is the best thing. I know. For you, but not for me. That was sad. <laughs> I remember when Valar came out, all the first edition regulars were like, yeah, this is normal, this is fine, we'll just keep our bigs in hand and we'll be more careful with how we play cards. And all the new second edition people were like, play our Tyrion anyway. Oh, we've got close call, we'll just bring him back. <laughs> so maybe you have a close call because I am a second edition player. You are second. Well, I don't know. We, we played a little bit in first edition. Yeah. We had like six months to bought all the stuff and then they were like, aha, the game's ending. Here's a new one. We like, didn't buy back. all the stuff. We bought quite a lot. We didn't buy all the stuff. We bought quite a lot. There were about eight cycles and we bought one of them. It's, but we did buy all the Okay, well, it felt like quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sat on two gold, which concerns me. It's like, you could have just paid for Aria normally. If, like because you had three gold, mm. so it smells like an event, right? It does, which I do not like. So spoilers: I have put to the sword, and winter is coming in hand. Your deck's just mean. <clears throat> it's quite aggressive, mm. but if it doesn't draw the aggression at the right time, it can sputter out. Well, I think a valor and then a put to the sword, and winter is coming in your hand, is you know a good order to draw these all in. I'm playing out of Tyrion because I figure, like, I'm pretty sure I've got Burn Men in hand. So I'm thinking, you know, get an intrigue, in. get some jumping in. Kind of forget the fact that I probably want some characters on the board before you do your challenges because you might have some kind of uh, horrible trick. So, yeah, that was silly of me. It's easy to get into a, a mindset of, you know, comfort where you're like, oh, yeah, no claim, whatever, I just do whatever I want. Mm. You've got to think about it. You've got to think about what your opponent might have. I know, I know. Which gets even more difficult as the card pool expands. 
especially with all the new events you haven't seen yet. You know? I know. So you, when you play now, you're not going to be taking into account, for example, there's a Tyrell event called First in Battle. Right. Yeah? But you're not going to be accounting for that. What does First in Battle do? Um, something to do with maybe Randall and Army don't kneel when they do their first attack. Okay. Or something like that. But you're not going to be playing around that. Mm. So. I must admit, though, like, <laughs> it's almost it's almost nice not knowing all the things that could be coming at me because I already overthink when I'm playing anyway. It's like, in my head, whatever faction I'm against, I list, like, all the things that they could possibly do to me. And in my head, yes, you definitely have all of these. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of nice to, um, you know, not worry about that so much. You milked Asher. I did, and I've jumped in uh, gold cloaks. Oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting the gold cloaks. I think that's foiled my plans. Mm. Well, I, I figure gold cloaks means you're not winning by five, because obviously Asher's plus one with the Risen. Mm-hmm. Um, so it stops you winning by five. Um, and then if you do have something, I can at least kill them, because they're going anyway, right? Yeah, perhaps I should have gone in with both. Then I would have won by five. I could have put to the sword Tyrion. That would have been very Should have just played it safe and just did did the strongest thing. Maybe, Not but you worry didn't about trying to get extra efficiency. Yeah. yeah, but you, I do know what you're going to have. I've built the deck. <laughs> Not that I remember Actually, them. you've got a bow down the bottom, so you could have boosted. Yeah, but Gold Cloak was three, and I was expecting a uh, burned men, which was two. Uh, see, I see. But I outplayed myself. So I guess I'm going for the intrigue there so I can get some gold. Hmm. Here come the tears. Mm. Not bad. Not bad comeback. Yeah, it was trying to make it hard for so you. So why are you and not Asha? Um, Were you thinking, well, you're obviously running thinking, Risen from the sea, so I, Asha's more likely to get saved? Well, I was actually thinking, if you've got ice <laughs> in the deck... Um, there is definitely ice in the deck. And yeah. You just discarded my put to the sword. Uh, but yeah, if you've got ice in the deck, then that's going to be a bit of a a mean one. Maybe I don't have a burned men. I'm not playing them out. Maybe you do. Challenge trade isn't over yet. No, it is over because you've just discarded your dupe. Mm. I'm going to assume that I don't have burned men because I know marched is a thing and I'm not silly. Am I? <laughs> what, silly? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey. Not always. We played this game like a week ago, so I've really forgotten what happened. <laughs> That's good. We're almost watching it like our viewers are watching it. Yeah, true. Yeah, I remember this point, and I remember thinking, you're going to march me. So maybe I should march, because I'm also running it. But then I thought, if I play march, and you don't play march, That's I'm going to feel like a right twat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's many a tournament that we've actually recorded on our YouTube where... I've taught my opponent into marching, expecting me to march, and so I'm encouraging them to do the double march to completely clear my board. Uh, and yeah. then they just march themselves. I remember you doing that a few times. Yeah. It's like melee tactic being just. <laughs> and this is why you are shit talker walker. There we go. March into a noble cause. Yeah. Sad times. <laughs> Seems good to me. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I should have just played March. But you see, the thing is, I know what you're like, and it's like, I know that you would just sort of like try and double bluff me into marching myself, and then I look like a right plonker. But... And be like, right, well, we're going to have to record another game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that just for that. I mean, you valid my Tywin, I win, I win Tywin first turn. And look, fucking Arya's back. Little cow bag. Another and reason for me do. to march her. I know. Sad times. Thanks for wasting your tears, Bets. You're welcome. But my economy's going okay. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Hmm. Me on round two with only one rose road on the board. You did have a plus two in Tywin, but for some reason he disappeared. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Didn't he, hun? And I've got some salty semen there on the board. 
Now, I think at this point, I've only got one Lord, and I think it's Jamie. <coughs> I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, no. Which is really and he's annoying. he's going to die. Yeah, because it's like, if I put him out, he'll just die immediately, because I can't win the military against you. And I don't have um, a chud that I can play out with him. So you had six gold and the noble core, so you obviously didn't have a two-cost chud. No. Shame. Which all, that also makes sense, because I didn't use a burn men, did I? Not burn men. Burn men? Burn men. Burn men, yeah, it is burn men. Yeah. Okay, I can't confirm that I didn't have a burn men, which I feel better mm. about. So this is looking like a bit of a steamroller when you start. It is, but I'd like to point out that the game is nearly an hour long. Wow, I don't think our viewers notice that when they click play. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Should we, should we talk about uh, some stuff that's going on? Sure, yeah. I know there's a few things you wanted to discuss. So we've got the, um, like, sort of, not Thrones War, Thrones War coming up. Eight Regents of Westeros. Eight Regents of Westeros. I don't even know if it's called that. I might have just made that up. I don't know. You've said that a couple of times now, so I'm assuming that's the right name of it. Really? The Eight Regents of Westeros. There you but go. hang on. Targaryen Regent? Not, that's not Westeros, is it? I mean, I guess technically they are. They mm. were. But they're in Essos. You should come back. It's all I good. don't know, this could be a, a, a point. This could be... Anyway, <laughs> tournament. So, yeah, it's basically like an online throne war. You have eight regions. You, you sign up, you put your name down, and then you get drafted to a faction. Now, it's not like the, you know, the actual throne war. Um, you can swap players and do other silly stuff but essentially it's the same in the fact that you get drafted to a faction and then you play games sounds like fun especially for people who haven't played in ages don't know the carpool you can get drafted to a faction and deck build with people mm. which i think is good for learning the cards and learning decks again and how often do you have to play with this is there like a set time for it you just have to play once a week for seven weeks and you arrange to play at your own convenience with your opponent Oh, okay. So it's not like you have to be available on a certain time, on a certain day. Nope. It's quite flexible. Yeah, you so just yeah, do it whenever. You can fit it into your schedule kind of thing. So yeah, please sign up if you want to have some fun games. I know there's some of you out there that watch these videos and you're thinking, well, you know, I'm not a very good player or, you know, I don't know the community. Don't worry about that. Just, it's the chance to meet the community. Yeah, just sign up, play some games. I'm looking at you, Connor Hardy. <laughs> I know you haven't signed up. And, you know, you're following the side there? of the list, I there's, there's a guy from Nottingham, you know, Paul. Yeah, Mysterious yeah. Mysterious Paul. Mysterious Paul. You, you could sign up. By the way, Mysterious Paul, I love that you renamed your YouTube thingy to Mysterious Paul <laughs> after that other video. That's great. I love that. <laughs> so, Mysterious Paul should definitely sign up. Yeah, we're waiting on you, Mysterious Paul. And anyway, well, we've, got, we've got a player from China. We've got a player from Chile, America. Canada, even one or two in the UK. Loads of European players all around the world. It's going, yeah. to be, it's going to be good fun. Yeah. And if you are doing stuff like that, you know, joining in this uh, tournament, it's all good prep for Starlet, right? Yes. Yeah, you're going to want to know what cards do when Starlet comes around. Exactly. We've gone through an entire round. Yeah, last round I had one character on the board and somehow he didn't die. Hmm. So that was good. That was good, because you had a Game of Thrones. It was, because I had a Game of Thrones. So, couldn't military you. Very oh, sad no. times. Very sad. <laughs> that actually, you know, looking at it at this point, looks like that could be a turning point, because now you're going to be able to stabilise your board. I don't have a reset, or I might have a reset, but I don't have Valor. Mm -hmm. And my board isn't as impressive as it might have been. You've got a stable economy on the back row. So all you need now is characters to play out. Yeah. Well, I've just played Exchange to try and boost my hand a little bit and give me some options. Mm -hmm. um, and you've played... Um, what's that? Is that Battle of Ops Cross? Yeah. Um, where the first challenge... Is it printed cost four and above can't defend? Is that yeah. right? So, yeah. So you're going to get through <coughs> your first challenge at the moment because uh, Jamie definitely isn't able to defend. So a little aside, 
we're not playing with any redesign cards at this video. Oh, right, yeah. But we will in the next video because also exchange of information is on the restricted list at the moment. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm learning with you guys. <laughs> well, some people watching it might know all this. That, that's true. That's true. That I, I imagine quite a few people that are watching it know already about the cards. I feel like a noob at the moment. Like, you I are a like, noob. I know, I feel like a proper noob. It's like, I don't know any of the cards anymore. Like, the cards that I do know, I don't actually know because they're not right. Like, the exchange is restricted. Like, what is it? <laughs> we haven't really played in two years. Yeah, in my defence. And I thought it was only one year, but it turned out it was two. Yeah, because it was before Elsie was born, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But, you know, we're back now. It'll make up for lost time. Yeah. Networking in the community, making new friends. Getting Elsie involved in Thrones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Getting her to learn all the house word. Yeah. She can actually um, look at the map of um, like the Game of Thrones world. And if you say to her, like, where's Valyria? She can point to Valyria and stuff. It's great. <laughs> yeah, talk about indoctrinated. They're going to call um, social services on us, Rebecca. She's going to be so confused when I mean, she gets older and looks at an actual world map. And she'll be like, well, where's Valyria gone? Miss, where's Valyria? <laughs> uh, what? Where's Pentos? <laughs> Bless her. You got some stabilising board presents? Yeah, I've got a few chuds on the board to help. So that would be nice for, um, you know, like say, stabilising a bit when you come out with all your military. I'm amused by the fact that you have two Western fiefdoms and no Lannister character apparently <laughs> to put out with it. That seems funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I actually did have a... Three Martell characters jump onto the board. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I actually had any um, Lanny characters to put out, as you say. So, yeah, that was that was good. I'll put out some more. What did I bring back to hand? Um... It obviously wasn't I, yeah? I'm not sure, to be honest. Maybe Tumblestone Knight. Who yeah, knows? I was just thinking maybe Tumblestone Knight. But then again, I don't remember killing a Tumblestone Knight. Oh, would he have died Didn't at I the beginning? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Oh, what side little dude got on him? Widow's Whale. Ah. Yeah, because you knelt one Western fiefdoms for it. I need to get my money's worth. So Arya then coming in for a challenge. A military challenge, stealthing the knight. Which means that Jamie can't defend, so you're definitely getting this challenge through. Do you have the winter is coming? That is the question. <coughs> Give you a clue. No. I don't know, you're fiddling around with your with your cards a bit. I know, I'm just trying to intimidate you. You do that quite a lot. Well, yeah, because it's not just about the cards you play. It's also about the cards that you ah, purport to play. For the North. It's like if your opponent plays treachery and you say, yeah, cool, then they treachery your thing. But if you say, hold on, I'm considering an interrupt, mm. then your opponent would then be aware for future events that you might have a hand in judgment. That's true. And so Even if you don't have one. Yeah, they'll be more cautious. You're much better at mind games than me. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going in with another challenge there with Alanis. Probably the green eye, right? Yeah, I'm taking a while to consider if I'm defending or not, so I'm assuming You've it's You've got Alanis port, and you can attack me back in a green eye. So... You can also Sunspear, which is probably something I've forgotten about, and you apparently have not, because that is painful. Do you claim for Intrigue seems nice? Sunspear is pretty shit for the most part, but actually when it works it feels nice. Mm. But being able to guarantee going second isn't that easy in the corset. Yeah. Because um, there's a limited number of plots. And, you know, sometimes you're just going to get made to go first and you just it's just a, a wasted location. Yeah. But then going first isn't that bad when you've got non kneeling Jamie. <laughs> also true. But I didn't have any power, I think, at that point, so I kind of didn't want to do anything to put power on my um, faction card to let you steal it. That's a, a very non-newbie thing to do. <laughs> because a lot of newer players, they would... You know, 
unthinkingly just rushing to do to do some challenges and win them, right? Mm. And then they will get intrigue, military, two pound on their house card, ready for me to steal next next phase. But of course, you have to consider the alternative of not doing challenges, not getting those claims, but then slowing the game down, which is a very valid play, especially if you're losing. I mean, you, you are on the, nine. But you have the location base to come back. Yeah. I'll get a couple of chuds from hand. I preferred something a bit chunkier, but... I've killed them. I've put them in the dead pile. <laughs> you absolutely talk. I'll realise in a minute. I'm confident of that. I don't think you do. Of course I do. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It doesn't look like you're realising. Look, I'm going to realise in short order. <laughs> of course you are, honey. As soon as I look in my discard pile, maybe, and go, wait a minute. I like that you've just randomly killed Bran. This is not funny. It is a little bit funny. I'm sure I realise. Definitely realise. Oh, such a seasoned player. Such a rookie mistake. Noob! <laughs> noob! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a noob. We'll have to learn at some point, right? Hmm. I agree. Well, admittedly, it is easier to do. If you start off when the game starts and then you can work through the packs as they come out. Very true. I do feel like two years worth of not seeing the cards is just a bit daunting to catch yeah. up on. And that's just two years worth. That's not like most people that come into the game new and they've got like the whole carpool. But they haven't had many releases in those two years. They've had some, but not a chapter pack every month, you know. Yeah. So that's something, you know, not 480 cards over the two years. Thank God for that. <laughs> But, um, but there are redesigns and new There are redesigns and new thing to learn, new plots, correct? Pods. Like Some pod, yeah. I like the in fact my banter plot, uh, Whisper Campaign. I don't even remember what that does. When an intrigue, it's a fourth reaction, when an intrigue, uh, no, when a character without an intrigue oh, icon yes, enters so play, me. nil it. And you manage to top and like a cat. cat. Yeah, of course I do. Because that's just me, I'm so lucky. Mm-hmm. Which is, you know, nice. And I'll chuck a chub down there kneeling because YOLO. <laughs> Saving four gold from my hour oh, did the old way. <laughs> I don't even remember what that does. It gives all your Greyjoy characters stealth or remove stealth from all the opponent's Greyjoy characters, I think. Is that not like a loyal card or anything? I don't know. Well, it's I not like I've ever looked at it. I've played that in a tournament before. Yeah, in that <laughs> Brighton Charity Joust achievement tournament where you get achievement points for doing stupid things. Yeah, my deck was so weird. <laughs> I think I lost pretty much every game. You loved that. Like, I did. You loved that more than normal thrones. I did, because I got to do all weird shit. Like, one of the achievements was, like, um, most um, animals or something on your cards. So I made all <clears> my tokens and I cut them out to look like little animals because, you know, it's like Taskmaster, right? You can think outside the box. So, like, you know, my token's like stealth was like a little bat and stuff like that. And it's like, look, I've got the most, I've got the most animals on my cards. This sounds terrible. It was great. I, I was mean, so I was fun. absolutely horrified by all of this. I even glued googly eyes onto my bat. <laughs> context. <laughs> and there's me. I, like, I don't like anything out of the ordinary. I just like things just so... Well, you didn't you know, have just to in do... their normal way, to the point where I don't even use alt arts, as you may notice. Yeah, true. Although, to be fair, when we stopped playing, we did sell all our alt arts because we thought that that was it. We even sold our folders and stuck all the cards in boxes. Actually, we did not sell all our alt arts because I found a box of them upstairs. Did you? Yesterday, yeah. Did you actually? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Got some house cards in it and some cow drogos. Oh, cool. Hmm. Is that the box in the games cupboard? No. The long, thin one? No. In that case, we have some more. Wow. <laughs> Do we still have all like any spare of the Thrones War plots? Don't think so. I ordered I so know. many. I ordered like more, much more than what we needed. Yeah, but I think I sent them all to Slade for his tournaments in London. Oh, okay. And then he stopped having tournaments. We didn't have any spares. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to. I'll have to double check upstairs okay. see if I can okay. find any. But I don't think we've got any. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> so I'm basically winning now. Yeah, I mean you're on like eleven. 
I mean, I'm giving you a run for your money. Yeah, and you've got you bored down. now, and you've got two dupes, which is annoying, which means military claim doesn't matter. So even if I do draw that eyes or put to the sword, not going to hit anything impactful. You can kill my house day night. I'd be really sad if you killed him. Yeah, get your widow's whale back. Really sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, some are doing a military there, which I'm defending with the house day night. And he's got that plus strength from the widow's whale. The one important difference in this game is that you have a draw location in Lanipur online. Mm. You know, that's going to pick up you know, the, a card or two around. Yeah, because this deck, like the Lanny deck, is sort of based on intrigue. Yeah. Um, and obviously Stark are a bit shit for intrigue. And Greyjoy is not that much better unless you're playing Euron, which is not going to be in this deck, is it? Mm. In fact, Lanny Sun runs Varys as well, which is definitely going to hurt me. I don't think I see a Varys in this game. Spoiler. Or do I? Spoiler. Well, I don't actually know. Like I say, it's been like a week since I played well, It's not this. like you trigger him, because you're terrified of your own Varys. <laughs> That's actually really it's like, true. You know when your opponent <laughs> puts Varys on the board and you're terrified all of a sudden, but Rebecca's thinking, I've got a stealth intrigue icon. I'm going to do a challenge for three with stealth. And you're like, I'm going to lose my board. You know, genuinely, like, yeah, if I ever play Varus against you, like, odds are, unless I'm basically dead, I'm not going to Varus you. <laughs> I don't like losing my board. <laughs> but when your hand is better and your location base is better, it can be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not saying Varus <coughs> is a card that you shouldn't trigger. I'm just saying um, I'm too much of a wuss to trigger normally. <laughs> it's like Valor, I hate Valoring. It's like, I'd want You my... love Valarin. I don't. I'd like to have at least three characters that would be safe. Good to know. So how do you feel about playing against Shadow decks, Rebecca? Ugh. Shadows is one of the reasons that I just stopped playing. I really hate Shadows. I don't want to play against Shadows. You look like you're going to cry. I know. I genuinely really hate Shadows. Like, yeah. I Rest... think since Shadows came out, my love of the game dropped which is why I've really, really enjoyed playing like core deck stuff because it's all the stuff which I enjoyed and wasn't shitty crap like shadows. Wow. Sorry, I don't like shadows. So rest assured, the shadow of the gender got redesigned mm. and shadows isn't as powerful as it used to be. You know, there are some shadow decks which are fairly strong, um, but they're not as prevalent in the game now as they used to be. I mean, that's nice. But you're just terrified that Robert Strong is going to kill you every time there's a card in Shadows. I know you. <laughs> but it's fine, you know. As long as the design team um, continue to bring out Shadow counter cards that can be used <laughs> in regular deck. Because you don't want to come up against the Shadows deck and you're like, oh shit, I didn't pack my both duplicity. I've, I've lost. Mm. You, know, you want cards that are flexible, a bit like Stark's Jason Malister, you know, because he's the one that gets renowned when there's no cards in Shadows, so he's all right. But I think if you win a challenge with him, you get to discard a card from Shadows yeah, or something. Yeah. So flexible cards like that, which you can play, and they can also hit Shadows. Mm. Because if you get more cards like that that attack Shadows, then you can print more Shadows cards. Or because there's a balance. Just don't play any Shadows. Cause... I th- Shadows is horrible. <laughs> I think the problem is the agendas myself. And the fact you can recur Shadow card with Clever Faint and put them all back into Shadow. Mm. That was pretty bad. No one no one wants all these Shadow cards to come out. Mandem more, discard two of your card, Robert Strong, kill your character. You no know, Cersei's coming out, bye bye all your cards in hand, and then suddenly Clever Faint, put them all back in Shadow for the next round. I'll play Valar, kill the rest of your board and then I'll bring them out again. Yeah. You no, know, that's just problematic. I think with Shadows as well, it's like when you play Shadows, my memory is horrendous as it is. And it's like, I can just about remember what's in Shadows. I won't remember which card's which. And I probably won't remember what each one does properly either. Because I don't like Shadows, so I don't play them very often. So I spend half the game just looking at the cards and trying to figure out what the hell they all do. And how they can interact. I think that's it's a you too... problem and yeah. not a game problem. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's a game problem. Yeah, I just, I just don't like playing against shadows and even playing with shadows I don't really like because 
I've seen what I said. You know, coming back to the game, I've seen some shadow decks playing online. Now, there's not many of them. Most of them seem to be like Lannister deck, which are half normal with a little bit of a shadow package added in. Mm. Well, same with Tyrell, or maybe even Tyrell Banner of the Lion. They're the shadow deck that I have seen online. And, you know, they, they're okay, but they seem to take a lot of money and a lot of cards and a lot of time to get going. And good player can do well with them, like Rias. I've seen Rias playing online with them, and he does well with it. Um, I think we've seen Lucas Abel Benz play in the recent tournament um, the other day in the Tournoi de la Man. Okay. He think he can reach the semi final with a Tourel Lion deck. Don't know if that was a Shadows deck. Might have been a Shadows deck. Thought thought I recorded it. I think I did record it, but I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> So I've still got that to look forward to. But yeah, you know, and I think, like I say, if they print more cards that hurt shadows or at least give you the opportunity to attack the shadows area, it, it makes the game better for everybody and it also gives you more scope to play in that area again. Like there's a new plot coming out in the new Brand the Builder pack, which is imminent. Oh. More cards. Okay. Quite excited. I quite like a lot of the cards in this pack. Yeah. But there's a, a plot called the Mad King Command, and it's a little bit like a, a mini Valar for everything. You know, three gold, one claim, so better than Valar in that respect. But then you have to discard, you, basically you choose three characters, three attachments, three location, and then three cards in either your hand and or shadows area. Everything else goes to the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. So if they're hoarding all this stuff in shadows, they've got eight cards in shadows, play that. And they can only have three cards left in their hand and shadow area. So, mm. you know, if someone's got 12 locations out and you're playing Mad King Command, they're going to be down to three. Yeah. So it's kind of a plot that encourages you to sort of play Ooh, in a nice more... that's nice against builders, actually. Mm. But it encourages you to play in a more mainstream kind of way with a normal amount of characters, a normal amount of attachment, mm. a normal amount of location. Because if you go extreme... Because some decks just go mad, don't they? Yeah, and, and it's, it's, and it's hard like... to normally play against an extreme deck. Yeah, when you've got that much, like that many characters, for example, opposite you, and you're just like, you can't math it. <laughs> the only way to counter that really is, well, I don't know, I think it's a reaction to the challenge phase starting as well, which is really interesting, because you've got to marshal. Oh, Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So, so you can't even outwit it. Yeah. Very good. Mm. Sounds like it'd be good if you're um, somebody that plays like jumpy stuff as well, because you just wouldn't marshal it and then you can jump it in. But you're only going to have three cards in hand and or shadow True, area. yeah. So, you know, if you've got... You can either keep two cards in hand and one in shadows. You know, what do you do? What, what choice do you make? It's, mm. But I think what they might do is it might make attachments more important because you can save up to three attachments. Okay. So if you've got attachments, that might be better. It's the bloody plot. flux into marched. Actually, when I played the bloody flux, I was thinking Varys would be just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing would be safe. Yeah, it's a pretty good plot to be able to put Varys out on. Mm. As long as you got the cards in hand, right? Varys was an excellent card for control deck until you got loads of counters. Like, all you had to worry about was treachery. Oh, uh, right, yeah. And then, you know, in the later stage of the game, Vince, who loved Varys, invented Vince, <laughs> which just killed Varys. Because everyone was playing Greyjoy and, you know, you try to trigger Varys and you get Drowned God Fanatic and the Dead Pile and that's yeah. it, you've already cancelled and you're gone. That's your whole round kind of destroyed because you probably played around the idea that you're going to be playing Varys. Mm. And now Lannister have the Red Keep and Alchemist Guildhall, which cancel character ability. Oh, I forgot about them. So Lannister are probably going to cancel your Varys, which is fine because they're the ones that are probably going to want to play Varys. Mm. For the most part, it's but, kind of um, thematic as well, like Lannister cancelling Varys, like considering the, how closely you worked with them mm, or against them. Yeah, but then they're begging brothers as well. True, yeah. There's, there's so much to watch out for. Nightmares. <laughs> so the boards are um, getting interesting. 
You say interesting. I say cluttered. <laughs> so you've got um, three characters with milk. So mm. Theon, Arya, and Asha all milked. <clears throat> you've also got Cat, um, a Lord's Sportship, right? I think there. It is. And um, damp hair. Mm. She's a little bit annoying. I don't like damp hair. You do a really good play in this, which I didn't think of at the time. Maybe I was getting a bit lazy, but I think like maybe in tournament play I might think about it. But mm. but you get me with a good play. I kill Theon to get rid of the milk so I can bring oh, him back. Right, yeah. But then I can't remember what your good play is. So. Me neither. I'm waiting to see what it is. Mm. <laughs> maybe you just sit and win Dom. Maybe you're just treachery. We've got six, eleven, fifteen for Dom. I've got fourteen. You're doing the same thing. Eighteen. 13, 15. They're both tied for Dom unless you have three gold there in which you're winning Dom. I've got more than three there. Yeah, you're winning Dom then. But yeah, you're right. Maybe you're just treachery. Which is probably something I didn't consider. <laughs> yeah, I think considering we're just talking about cancels, treachery makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think at this point I'm just trying to consider what my best option is because obviously i've got lots of mean stuff i want to do to you like i've got like cersei with double claim and like if i can win an intrigue then i can get my card draw going as well mm. but then again you've got cat which is very annoying because she stops me doing uh, sport stuff that is true doesn't drop insight on pycelle though that is true so, yeah sorry you know me. When I want to think about something, I take a long time trying to think about it. But well, that's all right, because, you, like I say, this is a, a game that rewards repetition. The more games you play, the better you will be with your triggers, with your action. You'll have a better idea of what to do in what situation. Mm. And, you know, this is your sixth game <laughs> for uh, in two years. So you're going to be rusty. The decision-making process is going to be slow. What, even slower than what I was? Yeah. Concerning. Yeah, well, you weren't a slow <laughs> player. <clears throat> I don't know. You I finish think... higher than me at World, damn it. You keep saying that. And I'm that. proud of you. Thank you. You keep saying <clears throat> that, but, you know, you won the melee. Yeah, but I wish you'd stop saying that, because I hate melee. <laughs> don't say that, because there's people that you played against in the melee that would have loved to have won, and you just sort of sauntered in there like, hey. hey. I love I love winning. <laughs> Let's not say that like, I didn't you enjoy winning. I mean. That's why I played because you know. No, yeah, I know you. You love winning. So anyway, you finished quite high in world. You finished definitely in the top two hundred. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're such a dick. I'm just kidding. You did actually do quite well. Thank you, honey. You even played against Seth Lowe. Mm. He's famous because he told Bamford first edition deck that it was shit. Even though he won UK Nationals with it. <laughs> that, I find that funny. Yeah. I don't know. Worlds was fun. I did enjoy Worlds. And, um, Even though you were <clears throat> poorly. <laughs> Even though I was like a month pregnant or something. Oh, right. Okay. And not able to tell everyone why I kept running to the bathroom. <laughs> I bet they had some uh, theories. Yes, Richard, they did, didn't they? So, um... <laughs> this round taking some time. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because I'm trying to figure out what to do against your deck. Are you first? Or yes. am I first? You are. I'm first, I believe. I really hope we're doing military against you. Why? So you can then valor me? No, because... Bloody flux, you can't save anyone, so Pycelle's gonna die, right? Or well, if you make a mistake and say, I'll claim little thing is doing, I'll be like, haha, he's dead! Oh, I don't know if you're doing military against me or not now. I've got quite a lot of gold, so maybe I've got a stand or something. Yeah, you probably have, haven't you? Wow, you're not messing around, are you? Protecting the burned man in your hand. Yeah, I don't know if that was a. I guess that must have been an intrigue. So tell me about Starlight then. Are you excited to go? Are you going to play in melee and jail? Um, I don't know if I'm playing yet because um, we're taking Elsie with us. 
So um, it might be a little bit weird for me to uh, be sat there playing a game with a two-year-old sat on my lap watching Peppa Pig. Wouldn't you want me to look after her? I'm assuming you'll be playing. Mm, don't assume that. <laughs> um, Either way, one of us will be playing. Probably Richard. But what? I'll be there. Might record a couple of games if we're allowed. We'll have to talk to the organisers. Yeah. I don't know who the organisers are, but sure. Yeah, I was going to say, have you heard anything about who's actually organising it all? Because I know I'm, the castle's all booked. I'm pretty sure we can find out. I think it probably um, Chris off and feeling but we'll find out hmm. we'll find out and then you can play the joust and i'll play the melee <laughs> in fact i don't ever want to play melee again <laughs> i was gonna say you, you need to like never play melee again because then no one can say that they've beaten you in melee <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah i don't know why i don't know why i did all right in melee i just because you're a shit talker walker i don't even like it stop whinging anyway and joust is fun, I'm just not very good at it. I think the problem with joust is you like to play your sort of niche decks rather than the decks that are good at the time. So you play something that you just enjoy playing. Yeah. But it means that <clears throat> it might not be, you know, the deck that's going to be everything else. Well, like Dire Wolves. <clears throat> did all right with Dire Wolves. You did do all right with Dire Wolves. Didn't do that well with the Barra Rose deck that I took to world. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, Which wasn't a nice deck, it was just, you know, Chef Bob and Solis and... <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, more dupes. Oh yeah. Just, Come see. at me, bro. I know you've got Valar. Yes. And I know I can't use it. <laughs> Why is that, hun? Look how pissed off I am. I'm basically rigid, I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to nil your shit. I think this is a mistake, actually. Oh? I think I should have just kept it standing. Yeah, because... Am I first player or are you first player? I'm first player. You're first player. Mm. I don't know, I think <coughs> it's probably a good thing. You don't want me to come back at you with double power playing or something. Yeah, but am I actually going <coughs> to do that against you? I should have considered the options before rashly... Committing to kneeling out your sun spear. <laughs> you got plenty of cards, well, three, that can defend against Battle of Ockcross. Yeah. I, I don't have any stealth. I don't have anything I can eat with Grey Wind. Yeah, Grey Wind does have Intimidate. Mm. And I can get it off. Because I've got Asher with the boat, 7th strength, and Grey Wind. That would be... An 11th strength military challenge. Have I declared no challenges? I think so, yeah. Maybe I should have tried to do the military, get you to kneel something out, do a bit of intimidating. Yeah, you could you, like intimidate say you could have been... Cersei. Mm. That would have stopped that extra claim from your hand. Ouch. Risen and Winter is coming. Especially seeing as I had the Battle of Ockcross as well, so only Half Day and Night could have defended. Yeah, so you would have got your, your challenge through. Mm -hmm. And then if you had Winter is Coming, you could have had that two claim. Admittedly, I've got a lot I of dupes. I would have done it on but... military. I think at this stage, you try on power, right? Yeah, you're only three off. So I would have had five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen for power. You would have had five, eight, twelve... Yeah, maybe I should have just done power and then Winter is coming to it. Yeah. But that only takes me to 14 and you Sun Spear maybe. And then you have two claiming power and I'm worse off. Oh, what's my plot? Oh, Game of Thrones. That's why. Oh my God, I've spent all this time talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> and all these people listening I'm just are like... like Richard's oh, shut talk. up, Richard. This is why you're shit at jail. <laughs> Not because you play niche decks, because you're shit. No, come on. In the actual game, you'd have known that that was the plot and that's why you'd have done everything. But yeah, you are just shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Look, I'm catching back up. You are catching back up. How do you feel? I feel like I've gone from like, you know... Is it as good as my about... Dragon at Starlet? Not quite. But I do feel like I'm I'm making a good comeback, all things considered. 
the st the Starlet comeback one was my f like one of my favorite comebacks ever. Maybe even my favorite comeback ever. Like, because that was just absolute gold. The guy sitting watching our game next to us, just like every time I played a card, he was like, "What the fuck." <laughs> That was a fun Dalek memory. It was brilliant. I loved it. I don't really have any <clears throat> fun Dalek memories that I can remember. No? Not really. Don a kebab. Yeah, but that's not a Dalek playing memory. Oh, Although, I, I am amused by the story of you sitting down to play a player <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm playing the new the new agenda, Range. Would you like to have a look to see what it does? <laughs> and it was... Aoria Caballero de Leo, <laughs> who invented the card, and Rebecca didn't know. And she was like, This is what Rain does. And he was like, Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure Bamford was sitting near me, Dave Bamford, and he was like, Do you know who this person is? And I'm like, N No. <laughs> He's like, Maybe read the name on the card. And you're like, Yeah. And then read who you're playing on Geraldton Pavilion. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that is good. I like that. Thanks, Henry. Thanks for reminding everyone of that epic fail. <coughs> That is... Oh, well. I was there. I tried. I've never really done that well at Starlex. So? You, you uh, haven't? No. Nah. Me neither. But again, like you say, I don't play great deck. I think the last time I took <laughs> Dark Valyrian Steel, which wasn't really a thing. Mm. I know. But, I quite like Starlex just for the seeing everyone, to be honest. Yeah. It is nice just to see loads of people, that environment where everyone's kind of excited. and. Yeah. We all like the same kind of thing. I remember my very first Dalek, um, pretty much like the first thing I said to somebody that I didn't know was, do you mind if I strip a little? <laughs> yes, that, that? that was concerning. <laughs> I did a double take. I was like, yeah, what's going on here? Oh, my God. Oh, I'd, I'd almost forgotten about that. But talking about Dalek just brought back that memory when I just walked up that bloody hill for the first time and I was absolutely roasting and I stumbled into the common room and I was like, I need to strip, I need to get some layers off. And there was like a table with a bit of space and Tom Malucci was sitting there and I was just like, I'm so sorry, I'm so hot. Can I just strip a little? Do you mind if I just strip a little? And then just like peeling off the layers and Tom's like, yeah, go for it, you know. He's <laughs> not gonna complain. That's also oh, the same day I have the photo of when <laughs> You're stood looking at the camera, mm. all five foot nothing of you, and there's Franca stood behind you, almost oh, right. like six foot six, <laughs> towering above you with just his face. I can't help being short. Everyone knows I'm a bit of a midget, it's fine. No, don't say midget, uh, you know, that's uh, just unfortunate connotation. Oh, I don't mean it in a bad way. Did you know that the Japanese word for short is mijikai, which is basically midget? Wow, mijikai. Mijikai. Short midget. <laughs> Fantastic. We're also getting a Japanese lesson along with your throne video. Uh, there you go. Well, I'm, I don't know if anyone's still going to be watching after 50 minutes of your power total not changing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure <laughs> when you look at the YouTube analytic, the average single view time, like no one, very few people watch 48 minutes in one go. Most people watch it for a set number of minutes and then they give up or fast forward the video. And I think the longest, continu the average continual minutes is like 12 minutes for the last video. Really? <laughs> yeah, so they'll watch it for like 12 minutes, or they skip <clears throat> through to good bits. Mm. Or there's some people that just click it, watch it for a minute, and go, nah, fuck this. I'm not watching Lanny. Are, are you saying that people don't just like put <clears throat> on the game and just ignore the game, just listen to us chatting? Some people do. Oh. They do. I've had messages. <laughs> I've had communications. They say, Richard, we love your sultry voice. Is that what it is? And they just want to hear your dulcet speech. Oh, <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> I am trying to pronounce my words in a more correct manner, even if my grammar is bad. I mean, you talk better than I do most of the time. You what, love? <laughs> I'm not sure what that noise was. I, I, think, <laughs> I think you're mocking me. Oh, you've got sounds around. That could be annoying. Yeah, a little bit of a clock. Mm, yeah, because like you've basically not moved on power, but now... <laughs> tears on Dampy. Sorry, bud. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to have to try and speed up. I mean, to be fair, I've been like slowly catching you up, but yeah, now I need to get on it if someone's just going to be standing and getting you the power. What are you doing? You're tearing. Oh, ring. yeah, so I tears Dampy, and then I was like, am I allowed to 
do two reactions in the same reaction window? And you were like, yeah. So I played another Tears, and you were like, you can't play two Tears. <laughs> tears is max one per challenge. Aww. But you can react, you know, <clears throat> Lannish Port and Tears. Yeah, yeah. No, I just got carried away in my events, I think. And then you took the save that I was going to use uh... for Dampy. But, you know. Whatever. Oh, well, you'll get over it. Whatever. <laughs> What am I doing here? Maths. Quick maths. Quick maths with me? you got to be kidding. It was sarcasm. Don't worry. Bastard. <laughs> wow. You're the one playing Martells. <clears throat> only because... They have a high proportion of bastard, you know. <laughs> I'm only playing Martell because, you know, you hate Martell and you don't want to play him. Yeah? Why don't you tell everyone why I'm playing Stark Kraken? Because I played it before and I was shit at it. <laughs> and refuse to do the video? I don't refuse to do the video. You were like, I'm not doing this video. This game's so terrible. I get smashed in five minutes. We can't put this out. That's not what happened. Anyway, look, I'm about to win. <clears throat> oh, right. Really? I don't know. Maybe. I've just done a big-ass power challenge. And unfortunately, that's time. So I win 12 to 11. And <laughs> thank you for coming. This has been the White Walkers. Nice try, honey. I swear you cl slowed down this clock. Because we were playing for like four hours. <laughs> Can't believe you killed Damps as well. I mean, he had to go, right? Mm, well, at least I'm getting Sander power. Oh, you were th three minutes. Why couldn't you just take a longer with that intrigue decision? <laughs> what what I tried to read it. <clears throat> what with the tears? Yeah, I accidentally used the tears, but I do have a treachery in hand. I re I realise in a minute and swap them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> in a minute I look at my hand and I'm like, why have, why have I got a why have I got a um treachery still in hand? Why have I got a fourth treachery? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I was just changing the camera. Um battery's over at this point. <clears throat> Even though the game is about to end. But look how tight it is. 12 12. Ah, you should have been a bit longer on the intrigue and this would have been a draw. You've been drawing more cards from your Lannis port, so I would have won on cards in deck. <laughs> you know, I'm good at winning on cards in deck. Isn't that how you won the melee? Yeah. <laughs> By one card? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, plots. Exchange into sorrows. Hmm. Why did I pick sorrow? Let me think. So you could go first, maybe? Possibly. Why would I want to go first? I'll when go you've second. got a two-claim sunspish firing off at me. Yeah, but if you can push through your challenges, maybe get to the full amount before me. Don't but you don't have any round renown, do you? Don't have any stealth, <clears> and that's a problem as well. You know, mm. you're milking Theon, Asha, and Arya. <laughs> that is... No stealth for you. Three milks, three treacherers. Your deck's done you well. To be fair, I think I was left <coughs> with about 15 cards in the deck. You know, at the end. You want to give me a Tyrion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course I do. That's exactly what I want to do. Give you Tyrion. <laughs> if you're dead, maybe. Is he dead? Mm. He's not dead. You marched oh. him. So sad. Poor Tyrion. He just wanted to come and play. Hmm. Hmm. Well, am I going to make a final push for the win? I'm pretty sure you concede. Yeah, I think I concede <laughs> as well. I, I don't think... think I drew anything of help. <clears throat> <laughs> yep, that's my marshalling. Nothing. I'm like, haha, look what I got. Da -da. Tyrion, very nice. Yeah, he didn't even give him to me, I just drew him. Yeah. <laughs> and then you were like, isn't he dead? That's what happens when you have like one card left in your deck or something. <laughs> yeah. So when we play with the newer card. Oh, there you go, I've just realised and done the spot. What deck would you like to. Test out. What new cards have taken your eye? Well, honey, 
funny you should ask, because you've already built me some decks. I've built loads of decks. Mm -hmm. But we've got some seven decks for me. Oh, one the seven deck for you. One the seven deck for me. Which, Which is exciting. I'm not very happy about. I love it. I'm not very We've had a practice about. game. It was great. Fucking horrible. <laughs> and what else? Did, I think I asked for Clanny, didn't I? Did I ask for Clanny? I do like Clanny. You did, but I ignored it. Uh-oh. Because no one can build land to it. I might just concede it. Look, shake my hand, woman. Yay, <laughs> congratulations. The nightmare is over. We don't have to watch this video any longer. And we, we can leave. Oh, are we just going? I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I've got I've got a red cloak. Uh, not a red cloak. A, <laughs> gold cloak. A yeah, gold cloak. And I'm like, yes, sweep up my location. <laughs> but yeah, well, that was our last course at Dex Game. I yeah. expect we'll have some more interesting, newer, fresher games for you, which might represent the meta a bit better for you. Um, if you have any preference on decks that you'd like to see, you can let us know in the comments. Yeah. If you want Not to know how, if you want to know how to join this eight region of the West Wales tournament, and you don't have any detail, just drop a message in the comments. Um, if you have any other qu queries or anything, just drop a message in the comments, <laughs> and, and we will ignore them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll get back to you. Eventually. All right, thanks everyone, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.